Just watch all the guys. Having beers at lunch. We watch the Buck and Buck and Ben. I stutter not. Beers on the outside. Maybe a little. We fought Buck and Ben just because, as a program, uh, we we teach Buck first. And Jerry's put on there. Uh, so now we're going to talk to Ben. And what I like to do, if everybody's okay with it, I want to go Ben and Boo. And then guys have been asking about belly series. So we'll put in, uh, you get a bonus, bonus clinic. We'll do, because uh, I can't talk an hour for Ben. Okay, we only run it three times a year. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll go into the belly series. No, we're running more than that. Uh, so Ben is our... Uh, second part of our triangle, second, second uh, side of our triangle is that fullback game in there. Okay? Uh, I will tell you, uh, the shotgun wing T is not a fullback friendly, it's not, it's not as friendly as the uh, under center wing T. I don't love the fullback game as much as I did when we were under center. I will admit that. I thought Ben hit a lot better. You had the down, you had the belly. I think belly is nice. We don't run the down with the fullback. Um, we, we changed to a more of a more of a double wing blocking power with the wing, and uh, so we don't have a down play to the fullback. It's just too slow. Uh, but Ben is a, is a good, you know, two or three two or three times a game, or four times a game hitter, and it can you'll see on the film it breaks big sometimes when they fall asleep on that fullback fade. They got to they got to respect it. Or you're going to break one on them. Uh, our rules on. Uh, do you have any more questions on Buck? Everyone understand the side Buck is the same thing, just not that you don't have that tied in. Do you want me to draw that up or are we good there? Are we good? Okay. Here's Ben. We're going to tell our wing uh, track, track is free, go to the corner and make a play. Get on your track. If this guy's back pedaling, get to your free or get to safety. He stick his nose in our business, go and turn him out. Okay? We don't walk outside back there. He's got to be respecting the buck, right? Uh, this guy's getting downhill. And you'll see uh, in, in the film, these two guys are stepping here for, for, uh, for buck, and we're running big right past him. So if we're doing that, just track the three, between. Okay? Uh, Tiny's going to crowd her to Mike, rip inside. Tackle's going to crowd over Mike. Guard's going to double, or just gap, we call it uh, down back, uh, gap down back. Gap down back, I think we'll change it to. He's going to double to Will. If there's a nose here, we're going to get some push, take pride in our double team, get some, uh, get some, make some space. Guard's trapping, we want him to take a 45. We want him to get up into the line and straight paint off that uh, center of guard's butt. He's got to get up in here. Okay? Here's another change. Here we are again, backside tackle. Shotgun's a little different. It doesn't hit as fast. So this end will run this down. Okay? This end will run this down. We're going to start keeping this thing and keep them honest. But he'll run this down. So you got a, you got a gap hinge or you got to rip, rip him really hard to get the back. Because if you shoot up the field, you're fine. But if he's squeezing that thing, uh, you can, he'll catch you. He'll get you sometimes. So you got to look at that and work with that. Motion by the wind. We get that triangle. We want that thing to uh, look exactly the same like Buck. Okay. Um, quarterback's going to get the ball. He did. Uh, he's going to get that ball, he's going to give that bend, the same exact set. So he's going to snap that bend in there, catch it, snap it, <coughs> fake it, and run. Okay. So what are the first two steps of that, the fullback? Uh, just 45, 45. His aiming point is about the, the right butt cheek of the center. We're going to run right in there. When we break this thing, you see the film. We get that crowd, this guy steps up, and we're right here. So if you want to bend it, it's what's called bending. 
Now, he's real excited about um, Dalton Buck. You know, I can get in there. You can also, guys, influence the guard for those guard reading uh, teams. And that'll screw him up, too, because this guard pulls, he, he, he vacates, and we're right here. And that's nasty stuff, too, so you just tag him something.
the long call and the fullback knows I'm getting out here. And we got that off the so you'll see him why take off on So you will go head up outside of the guard for your trap? For your What's head. that? You roll on it and you go head up outside of the guard for your bed, for your block, on the play side. Is that the rule that you use? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're we're first guy got some ball. Let's get a snake eye. Something like that. We don't want to trap that guy. That's, that's yeah. the end. They got us right there. Let's, let's just make a quick change and go a little longer in it. It's all right. It's not ideal. Mm -hmm. And then what we did uh, at, at MC, we even checked to it. We did a true audible and we checked the blast. And we set a, a tag. I didn't know what the tag was. We tag it. Uh, I know what it was, I don't know what you guys know, we might use it again. Uh, we could call it, and now we run blast and down lock everybody, kick this guy, and that's where we want to run. So that, that saves a lot because this our center at the time, just before we had switched, was he went too tough. And Rip and Coach, Coach Johnson knows they killed us on that. So now the thing my head is the wall kind of went fuck. And here, this little guy can run, this guy could, he gets to pick our butts. Next, the next uh, week, we put in a <coughs> for that and switch it to the fire so, Two ways you can do that. Good. You put it back on that. If you lag the strong one. Yeah, he's lagging. Uh, he's when still, we, we want it to look the same. We want this to look the same now. All right? So, you guys got to know we run a buck, we run a bin, we run a boot. What are we doing? They don't know. It's too late. <coughs> we're in our triangle. What are we doing? They gotta wait and see what we're doing. Okay? Guards help them sometimes. Nope. Oh wait, I'm a joker. Okay, I'm good. My friend was joker. Yeah. We'll throw the alley. Okay. Uh, In Division 4 and 5 at MC, um, we had we ran a boot cruise. I'll put that up here in a second. And I felt like that thing was just unstoppable. It was just a reroute and really tough to stop. I was surprised that the Division 1 coaches are much better, not surprised, but uh, um, they're really good at stopping that thing. So um, that was, that was uh, someone asked me what the difference was. Okay, and they took that play away from us a lot. The, the, the pleasant surprise was <coughs> this would work very well at the Division One level, and this play works great at the Division One level. This is a big play for us. Okay, stop the buck series, same action in the backfield with the double handoff counter. Okay, it's the old counter George, and we call it Joker. <coughs> so we're going to Raven, Joker left. Okay, uh, we're going <coughs> to uh, trap the second guy past the ball. Okay, we're going to get a double team here to, to run through or combo. All right, for those two guys. <coughs> Which area away is going to double here in a 50 or in something like this is going to go backside. Okay, cut that guy out. We're going to pull and kick with the guard. We're going to uh, pull and tie in. And that's a tough, you got to work it. Okay. Our guy couldn't run into anybody, he put a little block on him. Uh, pull him, get him up in the hole, he's up to the first man inside, and then he goes inside and outside. Pull back, he's got to be flying <coughs> through his mid fake and, and scraping the head off his tight end, or this guy coming off the edge, because he will give you trouble if, if, he did, if that fullback's not flying through and expecting a violent collision. Mowing low by the, the uh, uh, left wing. Okay. He gets the handoff um, from the QB, but he's going to take it. Um, if I'm running uh, Joker left, he's going to take he's going to take his palm of his uh, hand, put it on his belly button, take his pinky and put his belt loop, and I'm just going to slide this ball. Okay? So, I'm sorry, quarterback's here. I'm going to take it uh, left hand, right hand, and slide this to the wing. Okay, so it's left hand on the belly button. No one of the kids are confused, huh? Uh, left, left hand on the belly button, right wing in the belly loop, and I'll take that ball and slide it. If you try to go uh, elbow up in the quarterback and get the ball and get it, it's not going to put the ball on the ground. 
We're just going to slide right here and give it. Okay? For teams trying to <coughs> slant the motion and run the motion, this hurts them. It's a lot. Coach, you keep your A back on this path and stuff to the W back. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see the backs. Yeah, they're telling us something that it, it tells you to slow down. <laughs> you want to get that exchange. But uh, we can probably slow down to 60% maybe to get that exchange. And we're telling the uh, we'll receiver any counters back to you, keep the corner out of the way. Quarterback is giving. There's our triangle, right? Same action. Linebacker seeing the same thing. Peeking in the backfield because the kids, because the 16 year olds have to peek in the backfield. And we're going the other way with it. He's going to you know, step in and get that guy here open up and wait for my to help me and try to make myself big. We just need a second. 
Sinner's got to get this combo, right? You see this guy not to get this?
We're going to pull up or we're going to pull around and get to the edge. Look for any pressure out there or the quarterback <coughs> going go, go, go. We don't mind if the quarterback wants to run. Uh, well, on boot, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. A regular boot, it's better, it's easier for him to run. On cruise, we're going to set throw. We think we got it, okay? Uh, is that all the line? Reach your way by the center. Um, fullback on cruise is always blocking. We're going to fake and we're staying home. We're going to help out fake out. Wing is going to motion and we're going to get the triangle effect. Now I'm going to get downhill. Got to coach it hard. And he's got to fill in for that uh, tight end vacancy and block the edge. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now we get this pocket right about there. And we feel we're going to protect it really well with the guys. We rarely give up a sack on cruise. Okay, because we're just going to get to sit, we're going to, we're going to uh, catch the ball, flat, flat, by fakes are through, 45, 45, 1, 2, 3, which is 1, 2, like a 3 step after your first two fakes. So if I had some room here, put a cone back there so your quarterback gets depth. They want to stick there, they want to throw the thing from four, and they can't. They've got to get them depth. So I am flat, flat, one, two, three. And I'm here trying to get to that uh, tight end. It's around. We're about to read anything. You just trust the tight end. Okay? Do they uh, miscommunicate sometimes? Obviously. Most of the time, it's pretty good. You do a boot drill, okay? Put your most, in, uh, uh, most important blocks. We put a nose, we put a D in. What else is the coach back? Uh, an outside back, an inside back, and a free until the free make the play. Uh, receiver's a wide go, by the way, keep the corner out. So this is a, a two on one with a quarterback and tight end versus a free safety. And he can't be right. Okay? What's really good at D1 guys to done is uh, dropping his back or, and sitting on him real quick. Uh, just depends on where the end is. We don't want him to get touched. Get your hands off and go. If it's some type of vice guy, you can run boot crew switch and switch these two routes. Oops. Switch these two routes and let the wing run it. So this guy's a better athlete. Okay. Um, our guy had 28 catches, only 14 of them were. Boot crew switch. Let's switch your routes. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, you throw a backside at this corner, and you'll see uh, um, I think I have it on some uh, cuts, and we have time to watch. Corner wants to help out with this. Okay. Your eye just dices the corner, flip fake over to help. Mind your own business. We'll go backside and score. Okay? <coughs> Raven, Raven, move up, we'll go backside, we'll go back, go back backside. Guard, I have one. Are you always going to pull backside? Pull backside, yeah. So you don't need much time. So you tell your center, he's got backside eight, he's got backside eight. Alright. So, so, yeah. so, so, so instead of this, double eight, yeah. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to fake that and run inside here. He's going to cut that front side, and I'm going to get to the backside.
comes right by and just goes out and just on the He's trying to roll it right through the backside free. He had his eyes in the backfield too. They weren't reading the tie though. Yeah, that's a good boy. Hey, a coach, is the quarterback supposed to get further further out before he throws it, or is that just step, step? One, two, one, two, out, three, throw. Out to, okay, out to about set, back to about seven. Put a call seven. receiver and take it. Throw it. Not bad. Not bad. He's five, six. He's got a big hitch. Huh? He's got a big hitch. He started at seven, he's like five. Right. Okay. Here's a play I really love. Raven, boot right cruise, so weak side cruise, okay? So our tight ends are going to run a corner, okay? Uh, our wing back is going to run the cruise route now. Now we've got the white girl here, I'm going to change this for him. Uh, he's got the motion because he's got the buck face. We have a great triangle going the opposite way with the fullback. Lock it the same with the old line. Now you have this tight end running here. That's just, a, that's just a bad call for those guys. Okay? And what we did here was um, Kindle caught a lot of these and, and free was all over Kindle, so we just went one on one backside and went uh, behind the receiver. Coach, we went post on this, not a not like you like it. Yeah, I'm sorry, post. Backside post. Did I say white go? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, on a normal boot cruise week, we'll go white go. If we have a backside call, we want to throw that, he knows he runs skinny post. We've got him twice on that. Okay, very involved, free safety. Very physical, wants to get involved in the run, uh, wants to obviously not crap out of Kindle, and we get behind him. Now we got a very average receiver, a one on one in the corner, he's in the corner, just a bad spot. Pretty good throw, good protection. 